Hello, it is Ray Sun Frost here with your What's Up Wednesday Tucson Market Report. And today, I wanted to talk about the reality of buying and selling in the current Tucson market and take a look at, a realistic look, at what is actually required to financially purchase a home. In the current market, sellers are still receiving multiple offers and homes are either going over asking price or are being listed at prices that push the market. So sellers are looking for buyers who can show financial strength. You can do this in a number of ways because bidding wars are still the norm. So one main way is for sellers to look for buyers who have to put funds aside to cover an appraisal gap. An appraisal gap is necessary when you have a loan and because a lender is only going to lend up to the appraised value of a home. So in an appraisal gap, that means that a buyer will pay up to a certain amount over the appraised value up to the purchase price of the offer. So what does this mean for the buyers? Well, let me give you an example. If you're looking at homes between 300 to 350,000, you could expect to have between 17,000 to 22,000 to cover your basic home buying costs. That'll include your earnest money, three and a half percent down payment, title and loan closing costs, as well as any costs associated with your due diligence period, such as home inspections. The last home that a client put in an offer for, the winning bid had an appraisal gap of $10,000. So if you wanna compete with an appraisal gap, that means your total cash you'll need to have on hand just increased to 27,000 to 32,000. If you're curious about what your home is worth in this market, or want to know what it is that you need to purchase a home in your particular situation, please reach out to me. I'm happy to help. This is Rayson Frost at Homes by Rayson with Omni Homes International, transforming lives one address at a time, here every Wednesday for your Tucson Market Report. Have a great home selling and buying day.